Hi guys, Top Pops here. Today we're going Funko Pop hunting again. It might be a little windy up, but we are over at the Lime Ridge Mall. We haven't been here in a long time, so let's go in and let's get started. Hey guys, so we are over in the Disney store right now and I found the Mandalorian section, more specifically the child, and they have all the stuff here today. But one thing that I did notice is not in the cupboard here, they have this. This is the child with the hover pram. And I really wanna get this today because this thing is amazing. This is the Hot Toys one. I think it's a cause baby, it is. It is a Hot Toys cause baby. And I've been wanting to get one of these for a little while now. I've seen them online, but never in person. And it's only 24 bucks, so I think we're gonna pick one up today. Okay, so they don't just have the child here. They also have this one, which is the Mandalorian and IG-11. I don't think I'm gonna get this one today, but I did wanna show it off because this thing looks pretty sick. All right guys, so we secured the child. Let's go on to the next store. All right guys, next up we're going into EB Games. All right guys, so we're looking around in the front here and they have a lot, a lot of really great stuff. Actually in a live stream the other day, I showed off some of the figures that we had got in the store. So you guys might not have seen them in a video, but there is some really good ones. I think one of them being DW up here, as well as the Soul Pop. Um, I think there's one right there. So there's that figure. But the one that I noticed that I wanted to pick up today was the Arthur one down here. It's gonna be hard to get him out of here. Maybe, I'm think, fingers crossed they have one at the back, so I'm just gonna pull it out of here. They also have Lil Wayne, and they have the Skull Trooper Purple. That is one that I'm gonna to wanna to pick up as well. So there's a lot of really great stuff that I'm seeing today. Yeah, there's the Soul one again as well. Um, we also have the Maleficent on Throne, which is a really great figure. I think that one looks great. Uh, but yeah, guys, there's so much stuff going on up here. They also have the new um, Office ones as well. I'm gonna have to go through a lot of these because there's some great stuff today. I also came to the back here, guys, to check out the other figures that they have. They have some of the Persona 5 ones, which are pretty cool. And I did notice the Masters of the Universe set. This is the brand new one that had just came out. I'm not gonna get any today, um, but I think if you guys would like to see Hunt, let me know. But yeah, they do have some really great ones. We have the Predator one, the Mom and Rider. Those are two that I showed off uh, recently. I think this one I showed off on the live stream and this one was another pop hunt. Um, yeah, they have some really great stuff back here, but some stuff we've already seen. And I'm still looking for another Arthur because I do not want to take it out of that pile. <laughs> All right guys, so we did secure the Arthur as well as two other pops and I'll show you what we got back at the studio. But now, over to Hot Topic. Hey guys, another in Hot Topic, I'm taking a look over at the pops and I don't see anything too crazy or new. I mean, there's some good stuff but I've already usually picked it up. Like the Kurama over here, I have this one. Um, as well as the Minions, we've got pretty much all of them. Um, we've got a lot of the Avengers ones over here, some other stuff. They have the SpongeBob ones up there, Saitama as well. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of looking around. I don't see anything new, and I don't think I'm going to be getting anything either. So let's keep going. All right, guys, we're now out of the mall and going into Toys R Us. Hey, guys, so I'm over in the back section over here at Toys R Us, and they've got some really great stuff. Um, they have a lot of the new Naruto set here, which is really, really cool. Um, but one thing that I did notice is they haven't, where is he? Here he is, the Gambit. Um, I know this one's worth a little bit. I still have to scan it in just to see how much it's worth, but I think it's like 30, 40 bucks, if I'm not mistaken, so I might grab one or two today. The problem is they're only 15 bucks, um, and the exclusives, I think, are 20. This one might be 15, though. I'm not too sure. It doesn't say, but usually the exclusives are 20, so it's kind of pricey as it is, but it's still cheaper than $50. But yeah, guys, I'm looking around a bit more. They do have a lot of Eevee. They also have some other ones as well, the WWE ones. I see some of the Tiger Woods. Um, there was another exclusive that they had just got in. I saw it a second ago. Oh, here it is. It was this one right here. So they have the Kylo Ren, which I do own, but then they also got the Ray here. And I know there's another one in the set. I'm not too sure which one it is. Let me see. It doesn't say. It might be behind here. Hold on, let me check. Because I know there's three different exclusives for that set. Uh, it looks like they only have the two. So I think I'm gonna get Ray today though, just because I do not have her. And it's a pretty cool pop. So yeah, I think this is the first one we're gonna be getting here today. All right guys, so I just scanned in the Gambit and it says on the Funko app, it is worth about $65. Now I know that is the, of course, the con sticker price, but it's probably about 40, maybe 50 for the one that isn't the con sticker. I'm not too sure, but I'm gonna get at least one today. Here's another area, guys, full of their exclusives. Oh my gosh, they have the Artemis Fowl one. Ooh, that's cool. Actually, we're watching Sully right now on the original Funko Live, which is pretty cool. He is going for it. Actually, he's doing some really cool stuff. They're showing off the SDCC pops today, which is awesome. But guys, I think I'm gonna get this one today, the Artemis Fowl. It's $50, but it's three pops, so it's not too bad, considering here they're about $20 each for exclusives. So you're getting them for $10 cheaper than if you were to buy all three separately. This is a pretty cool one, and I've never seen this one before. I think this is an Amazon exclusive, and they might still be pre-order, because I don't think I've seen anybody get these in person yet. Another exclusive that I found over here, guys, was the Cara Dune. This one's worth $30. This is exclusive to FYE normally, so if you guys are from Canada, and I know they don't ship to Canada with FYE, you can get them here at Toys R Us. Guys, down here I noticed a couple of the Dragon Ball Z exclusives. They've got Great Ape Goku, Piccolo Metallic, as well as the Majin Buu Pink Chrome. That one's really cool. Pinkish purple, actually. Uh, they also have Vegeta Training, and then down here they've got the Goku and Vegeta Baseball 2-pack. And then they've also got the DO and BB-8, which is a really cool one. It's $30, or $40. 
um, which is actually only $10 cheaper than the Artemis Fowl one up here. So I'm only gonna be getting that one today. But there are some really great exclusives you don't see very often. Here's your 10-inch collection over here as well. So they've got the, well, this one's not 10-inch, but it's the Hansel on the Millennium Falcon, normally an Amazon exclusive. Then we've got the Pushing with Pizza, the Thing 10-inch, and we also, where'd they go? The Rainbow Troll, as well as the Michael Jordan. It's hard to see him, but there he is. Hey guys, so I came over to the Diecast Cars over here, and I found a pretty cool one. It is a Garbage Pail Kids one made by Greenlight. Um, I had never heard of this one before, so I totally want to pick this one up today. It comes with an exclusive card as well, and then the card is even on top of the car. This thing's pretty sweet. Also guys, before we get out of here, apparently there are six different cars. I only see the one, um, but if they had more, I would totally get them. Hey guys, so I was digging around in the Toy Story section and I found the Good Smile Company. These ones right here are on sale for $42 instead of $60. So I think I'm going to get either Woody or Buzz. I'm just not too sure yet. Probably Buzz. All right, guys, so we are now out of Toys R Us. They did have some really, really great stuff today. I spent a little bit more than I thought I would, but that's usually a good thing when you go into Toys R Us because they usually have some really great stuff. But anyways, I think that's about it. So let's go back to the studio. Alright guys, so we're now back to the store and I want to show you guys everything that we got, but before we get into it, I do want to say that this is now after Funko had put up all of their SDCC Pops on their website, and I did get a good amount of them. I did miss some of them though. I missed the Black Lightning as well as Jackbox. So I am going to be looking to get Jackbox. Black Lightning was just one of those ones that, because it's limited, I thought I would try for it. Um, but yeah, the Jackbox one is one that I'm really going to want just because it's such a cool figure. It was a little bit better than it was with Dwight, but I mean, they are still working on the website and I think they handled it really well. So anyways, I was excited to get a lot of the stuff. I'm not going to tell you what I got yet, but let's just say it was a big order of some really cool stuff, so stay tuned for that video coming soon. But now, let's get into the figures that I picked up over at the mall as well as Toys R Us. So I think we're going to start with this bag here. Also, Disney has some pretty great bags, and they only sell them for a dollar. Almost every time I go, I get one just because I forget to bring my bag, but we'll go through these here. Um, and the only thing that I got over at the Disney store was this right here, which I was actually really excited about. Um, if you guys don't know what these are, these are Cos Babies made by Hot Toys, and this one here is The Child. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than Pops, but it's got some really great detail to it. Um, this one here was $34.99, so yeah, it's a little bit more expensive, but Hot Toys does make the very detailed, um, I think they're sixth scale figures, as well as some of these ones here. So these do go on sale sometimes, but this is the brand new one for the child. I was really excited about getting this one because I've never gotten one before, so I guess this is kind of like my first ever Hot Toys. Also guys, this is funny. This is the same kind of licensing issues when it comes to Funko Pops. I think it is anyways, where it's got a bobblehead as well as it has to be on a base. Um, it's just kind of funny that they also had that problem with the Cos Babies here. So it's not just Funko that also has to make all their Star Wars stuff bobbleheads, it's Hot Toys as well. And probably a lot of other companies, I just can't think of any at the moment. All right guys, now let's get into the figures that I got over at EB Games because I did get some pretty cool stuff there. Let's start with, I mean, we'll start with uh, this one here, I guess. Uh, so this one here is the Purple Skull Trooper. I have been wanting this one for a little bit now. We got it a little bit later here in Canada because this was an E3 exclusive that went to GameStop. And because they didn't have a convention this year, this one was kind of like a secret release. I didn't really see too many places post about it um, so it was pretty cool that I could get this one today it is a really awesome figure um, and this is one that I've been wanting for my Fortnite set for a little while now so I'm glad that I could get it and then guys next up I got two other figures and the guy over at EB games was saying that I had a really weird selection of pops and I totally agree with him so we got this Fortnite one and then I also got the Lil Wayne one now this one here is one that I've been wanting for a little while now especially since they've announced it I mean I had seen some like leaks of it a long time ago that they possibly were making one of these but then when I saw the actual image of it I thought I totally need to pick this one up so there he is right there I I also like that on the back they put the album cover for the Carter 3. I think that's really great. So it's supposed to be like a baby version of Lil Wayne. Um, and I like that they, it's, it's funny. I mean, this is of course why he did it, but to look more like him, they even gave him the tattoos, which I think is funny. I like when a lot of rappers do that where they make themselves look younger and then they put the tattoos on their face. I think it's really funny that they do that. But uh, yeah, here it is right here, guys. This is the Lil Wayne pop. This is supposed to be him probably a bunch of years ago, maybe right when the Carter 3 came out. I think that would make the most sense. I'm not too sure when he would wear outfits like this, but more recently, he hasn't been wearing the sideways cap. So I know this is a bit of an older outfit. I'm just not sure when. And then guys, last but not least, we got this one right here. Now this is the figure that I had to pull out of the front shelf. You guys probably know what it is. It is Arthur from Arthur. Now this one right here, as you guys probably saw, the only one they had in the store was that one stuck in the very front. So I did have to do some finagling. I do it a lot when I'm here, but not usually to that scale where you have to like pull it out super slowly. It was so heavy that they were coming forward as I was doing it. So you were like pulling it and then pushing the top and then pushing the bottom. So it was really complicated, but I did get it. So there is the Arthur right there in the box. Looks 
looks pretty great actually. I think the one eye is a little bit higher than the other one. No, it looks pretty good. Maybe his head's just tilted, so it should be like that. I guess that's kind of even there. But yeah, his head is tilted a bit. Um, but still, it's an amazing character. I have the Arthur U2s as well as the Arthur Pops, so if you guys would like to see a comparison to U2s as well as Pops, let me know. We could also actually do that with Cos Babies as well, and then I also wanted to do it with something else that I'll be showing you guys in a minute. So if you guys would like to see videos like that, let me know. All right, now let's move these three over to the side and let's move on to the Toys R Us stuff because we got some really great stuff there. All right, so I'm gonna start with the stuff that isn't a pop, then we'll get into the pop stuff after. So we'll start with, where is it? There's that car. Okay, so I got this right here. This one was pretty cool, and I, I know I showed it off while we were there, but this is made by Greenlight Collectibles. I'd never heard of them before, but I have seen their cars. I mean, I've never picked anything up. I feel like I've seen them at stores, but I didn't know too much about them. But when I saw this car here, I was like, I totally have to pick this one up. So this right here is a Garbage Pail Kids collectible car. It comes with the car, and then if you look at the top of the car, it actually has that card on top as well. Now, this here is a Chrysler. Chrysler Plymouth, I think. Um, that's what it does say on the front there. It's a 1957 Plymouth uh, Belvedere, I think it is. Um, so this right here is a really cool car, and I also like that they gave us the Quinquake car inside of here as well, and it's really cool that it is like Earthquake in the middle there, and then with it being on top of the car, I don't know, I just really like Garbage Pail Kids, and I also like Hot Wheels cars, um, or like die cast cars like this, so I thought this was a cool like best of both worlds. Well anyways guys, this is the first thing that I got that wasn't a Funko product. Now let's move on to the next thing here, which is this. Now this thing was super on sale actually. Um, this right here is the Nendroid, and this is of Toy Story's Buzz Lightyear. So this right here, guys, is a Nendroid, and this is of Buzz Lightyear, and I really do like this one a lot because there are different facial, I think it's got different facial expressions, or maybe it's just that you can pose this one. I'm not too sure, because the more expensive ones, you get different faces, but this one might just be that it's very posable. I'm not too sure. Oh no, one thing that I do notice here is that he does come with extra hands, so that'll be fun to use um, for maybe a posing thing. I don't know. Um, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with this one yet. Probably just display it somewhere here in the office, but yeah, because it was so on sale, I was so excited to get it. All right, guys, so now that we've got those out of the way, let's get into the pops now. So we got this one right here. This one was a pretty great one. This one was the Golden Ray. Um, I wanted to get this one because I have a couple of the other golden ones. I actually just recently, I think it was the Golden, uh, I got the Golden Kylo Ren. So now I've got the Golden Ray, and then I also have Golden Boba Fett as well. I think that's all the ones that I've got. Maybe a couple more, I'm not too sure. But this is the Ray holding lightsaber as well. I think that's really cool. This one just has some really great detail. And even with this figure being all gold, it still looks very detailed. And I really do like the box on this one as well, how they made it very very uh, shiny. You guys can see the foil on there. Looks really, really great. And just overall, this set of like gold pops is probably some of my favorites. And this is one of the only sets that they've done where they're all metallic, not chrome. Because if you guys see here, they've done so many different chrome pops, especially with the Thanos ones. And then there's also the Batman, of course. And I have all of the Hulk ones that are chrome as well. So I feel like doing the metallic look instead of the chrome one is a nice change for a while. So guys, after that, I got this one here. And I got this one because I already own it, but I think it'd be a fun one to do a giveaway with in the future. So if you guys would like to see this one given away, let me know. We can totally do that. But I got the Gambit. Now, I know on the Funko app, it was the con sticker and they put both of them together. So it comes out to about, I would say probably $40 to $50 for this figure when I only paid 15 to 20 I think it was but on the Funko app the con sticker one says 65 so this one here is probably worth a little bit less but it's still a pretty pricey pop and I'm glad that I got it for $20 because it is a really really great figure and it's got so much detail to it there's a couple different versions of this one as well there's the uh, which one was it the entertainment earth one where he's got the cards going in front of him as well as one without the stick I think and then there's maybe the one that isn't glow in the dark as well. I don't know, there's a couple different versions, but they all look great. And then guys, last but not least, I got this right here. Now this one was a surprise. Now my dad and I actually just recently watched this movie, so I was excited to get this one. But this one is the Artemis Fowl. Now this one has Holy Short, um, Artemis Fowl, as well as Mulch Diggums. Now all three of these characters look really great and they have so much detail to them. And I think this one here was supposed to be an Amazon exclusive. And here in Canada, it's really hard to get those ones unless they pop up on amazon.ca. So it's nice when they come to Toys R Us like this. And you guys might've seen when we were at the store, there was a couple different Amazon exclusives. One that I can think of right now is the uh, Han Solo and the Millennium Falcon. So I know they do get a few of them over at Toys R Us, but it is nice to get these new ones like this every once in a while. And I'm not too sure if this one has actually been shipping from Amazon or if it's still a pre-order, so I might be getting an early look at this. I'm not too sure. I'd have to check. But anyways, doesn't really matter. It's still a really great set. Well, anyways, guys, this is everything that we picked up today, and we really did get a lot of stuff. And again, if I were to pick my favorite thing today, ah, this is a tough one. I really do like the Arthur. 
I'm a big fan of these two as well because I like getting some like uh, higher end collectibles. I mean, these are only like under $100. There are some really, really expensive stuff, but these two right here are some fun like higher end collectibles um, that I do like to get every once in a while, especially this one right here. I might get some more Cos Babies. So if you guys would like to see them in the future, let me know because we can totally do that. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been Upside Top Pops, Popsters. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you're new around here, you should subscribe to keep up to date with the channel. I do upload every day after all. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. And you can always like the video if you know, <laughs> well, liked the video. And if a video every day isn't enough for you, you can always check me out on many other platforms. I do post pretty much every day over there as well. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that due to popular demand, we now have Top Pops merch. Yeah, I know, I know, you're welcome. We have a bunch of different designs and the shirts come in 16 different colors. That's right, 16 different colors. So there's literally a color for everyone. There's also phone cases, sweaters, and since so many of you asked, yes, we finally have wall clocks. I'll have it all linked in the description down below for you guys to check out. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today and I'll see you guys tomorrow.